Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Larry Snow, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add social media icons to a 2011 theme WordPress header. So let's get started. So I just installed the uh, 2011 1.3 theme on a testing site that I have set up, and here's what it looks like. Larry Snow's WordPress test site. And we have our search over here. The first couple of steps we need to do is give ourselves enough space on the right side to add the social media icons and that means shrinking down the 1000 by 288 size of the image header image which is by default inside WordPress and also removing the little search box here to do that we go into our appearance and select editor and select theme functions scroll down a third of the way until we see our image height and image width for our header we change that to the exact size of the image that you will be using for mine it's 600 by 125 and we'll update that and the next thing we're going to do is go to header header.php. We're going to scroll down until we find the search tags here. And we're going to remove this little piece of code right here. And we're going to click update file. And we'll just refresh the page and you can see the search box is gone. You won't see much of a change yet, but now we're going to go into header over here under appearance. And as you can see I've already uploaded a couple of versions of my logo and you can see here is how we changed the 600 by 125 pixels so I'm going to select this one and we're going to select save changes and we're going to take a look at the website well there's a couple things going on on this on on this refresh first of all we're going to have to remove our title and our description and then we're gonna to have to go into this code right here that's still making a 600 by 125 image 1000 pixels and I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's go over to settings general we're gonna remove my site title and my tagline and we're gonna save changes and we're gonna refresh okay that's removed and then we're going to go back into our appearance under editor and we're going to scroll down until we see a branding image under the header section header and branding image so by default even though we've adjusted the size the height and width of our header image by default the 2011 theme still has this override function in here with a height of auto and a width of 100%. So if we change the height to the actual height of our image and change the width to the actual width of our image and click update file in style.css and go back to the website we'll see that it has adjusted its size. However it's still a lot of space up here because even though we've removed the site title and the site description they are still getting some space up here and we have to go into style.css to remove that piece of code and to do that we go right here under site title and we remove the padding set that to zero under site title we remove the line height set that to zero under font size we set that to zero or completely remove it your choice and we click update file and we refresh and you can see that it's actually moved up a bit we're going to do the same thing for site description we're going to remove the margin and after we remove the site description margin this is what we're looking at so it looks nice and tidy uh, if you'd like, you can actually go back in and add more padding, but I like it, you know, this tight. It gives me more 
more space for the actual content of the website. So let's get back to the code. We're going to go back over to header and we're going to add in our div which is right here. I've already uh, uploaded the images to the media library and where we're going to put our div that holds our icon images is right after H group and right before this question mark PHP. So right in here, I'll give a little space, we'll add in our brief little uh, div ID which is header icons and it's very very simple. I just have a simple link wrapped around an image. In fact I still need to add in an end tag here to the link on all of these. Let me do that now. Okay, let's update that. And let's see how we're looking. And that's expected because I have not put in the CSS for the div ID. So let's do that now. Go back over to style.css and add in our CSS code for our icons. And I put my code under the header section. So let's find that first. Here we go. Okay, and I'll put it right here. And I have this as well. Now this is the same code I used in last year's video. So nothing's changed there. I'll just actually switch this around so I can have the div ID first. Okay, looks good. And I'm going to make these float right so we get our icons on the right side. And I'm dealing with images that are a little larger so they're actually 48 pixels by 48. And let's give this a try. Well that's looking very good. Very good. I'd like to have a little padding on the top to push them down a little bit and to do that we go in here, we can do padding top. Well, let's do 20. Update. And refresh. And there you go. We've now added social media icons to our WordPress header in a 2011 theme. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And I'll see you in the next video.